Hey guys, I'm Mick McDonald, uh, social and digital media manager here at Maroon PR to talk about my favorite Orioles memory. It's a little tough because I have a lot of them, even though there's been some lean years here in the past uh, 15 or so. Um, I remember coming to Camden Yards as a, as a kid and then really cementing my, my being a fan in the mid 90s, of course 95 with everything with Cal and 21-31 and uh, the 96 and 97 playoff teams. but. Uh, it was something special to be, I was at Camden Yards uh, last week when they clinched the division and it was a different feeling. Um, obviously they made the playoff two years ago, but uh, when, when they got that last out to clinch the division for the first time since 97, you know, you have, when you're a kid and you're 10, 11, 12 years old when the team is good, you get the feeling that it's going to be like that forever and to really grow up after that happened and never have them be competitive again and have the Nationals come to where I'm from in Northern Virginia and a lot of my friends who were Orioles fans jump off the bandwagon to, to stay with them and, and have them clinch the division this year was one of the most satisfying feelings you can get as a fan and, and I can't wait to, to watch them in the playoffs this year. So I've been a Baltimore Orioles fan for many years now and um, now that they've clinched the AL East I'm lucky to say that I have two favorite Orioles moments. The first was back in 97 when my parents took my brother and I to an Orioles playoff game and we got our big cups of lemonade. And then the second was when they just clinched the AL East the other night. I got to go to the game at Camden Yards and I can say I've never experienced anything like it at Camden Yards and I can't wait to see what the team does next. Hey everybody, I'm Mark Fogelsong of the NPR Newsroom. I have to say my favorite Oriole memory is just a couple years old, 2011, when they beat the Red Sox on the last day of the season. Now the Red Sox, nor the Orioles, made it to the playoffs that year. In fact, the Orioles finished last, but if anybody remembers, as I do, the Orioles celebrated like they'd won the AL East, not coming in last place. But it really was the start of this team we know now. And anybody, again, can remember that celebration. It didn't look too dissimilar to the thing we saw here a couple weeks ago when the Orioles actually finished in first place for the first time since 1997. I have two favorite Oriole moments, one from when I was a kid and one from as an adult. My first memory was back in 1991, the end, the final game at Memorial Stadium. I was with my dad and he remembers this much more than I do, but he, during the uh, closing ceremonies, he looked over at me and I looked over at him and we were both crying with tears rolling down our eyes at the final game. So that was a pretty cool memory. And as an adult, my favorite memory was definitely the first home playoff game in 2012, and just the energy in the uh, in the stadium was just incredible. And they had, um, with everyone waving the white towels, the buck towels, it was really cool.